Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today from McFarlane Toys, we are featuring Wonder Woman from their DC Superpowers collection. All right, so if you've been collecting these action figures, um, you'll know that these are kind of like uh, paying homage to the old Kenner Superpower figures from the 80s. Um, I'm not sure if this is necessarily a Walmart exclusive, but that's the only place I've seen these at. Um, so far, we've gotten uh, Superman, uh, Darkseid, Batman, Jon Stewart, The Flash, The Batman Who Laughs, and Wonder Woman. Um, I have yet to see uh, Nightwing and Deathstroke. Alright, so as you can see here, a beautiful throwback retro card, um, some nice comic book inspired artwork on the right, and we have Wonder Woman with her cape right there. Alright, so Wonder Woman has come to represent the possibility and potential of life without war, hate, or violence. And she is a beacon of hope to all who find themselves in need. She stands as an equal among the most powerful superheroes with a sense of purpose to protect the world from injustice in all forms. All right, so let's get started. All right, so beautiful figure right off um, the bat. Let's take her out. So it's nice that we're finally getting Wonder Woman. She kind of completes the big DC trinity of Batman and Superman and her. Uh, she stands in at about four and three quarters. Uh, really, really nice face sculpt. I think it's. I think the first thing that comes to mind when I look at this figure is that it's very clean. Um, much like the other figures in the line, you know, there's some crisp details. The paint application is nice and plentiful. Uh, the detailing is spot on. And it's cool because it's kind of like uh, paying homage to the older figures, but at the same time, you know, in terms of the presentation, the proportions, the sculpting, and the paint application, it's a very modern figure. Uh, the cape is nice, and I think it's removable. Let me see. I don't know if it's removable or not because it seems like once you take this thing off you might not be able to get back on but in all honesty I prefer Wonder Woman without a cape I don't know why they gave her a cape when they could have given her like maybe the lasso accessory all right some word of caution if you remove this cape it seems like <laughs> once once it's off you might not be able to get back on unless you could pop her head off which I think you could but I think you'd have to boil it first. But I think she looks much better without the cape, to be honest. Yeah, nice figure. Well sculpted. Um, re really impressed with the stars on the shorts. They're very clean. Uh, the sculpted uh, detailing is nice, like the um, wraps on her biceps. Um, her corset, uh, the, the Wonder Woman logo with the eagle head, it's kind of sculpted um, on top, as is the belt. Um, articulated knees. Yeah, it's very solid for this, uh, for what it is. You know, it's not super articulated. You know, this is probably about five points of articulation altogether. You notice the head, the arms, uh, the legs, and the knees. You know, it's nothing to write home about, nothing super special. If you grew up during the 80s, this is probably, you know, a nice love letter, you know, to that time period. And uh, here she is next to her fellow Justice League members. Uh, Superman and Batman are currently without their capes. Um, <laughs> I took them off. I don't know where I put them. I think they're like in a baggie somewhere. But it's kind of cool, you know, you can assemble a Justice League. I'm kind of hoping in the future that we get, like, maybe, like, Hawkman. Um, I really want that Nightwing figure, though. But, yeah, they look cool all together. So I think it's a fun line to collect. The price point is reasonable. Um, the card backing is awesome, especially if you grew up during that time period. 
you know, we've gotten two vehicles, and I hope at some point in time they give us, you know, maybe like a, a some sort of like a playset that kind of doubles as a display. You know, maybe like um, a Justice League headquarters would be kind of neat. Uh, so overall, uh, if I'd rate this figure on a scale of one to ten, um, I think for the most part, with the exception of it not having like a, the lasso accessory, um, I'd say this is a easy nine. The likeness is really is really nice. The paint application is great. Uh, once you're standing alongside the rest of the figures, it just really solidifies, you know, you know, starting this collection, which I think is awesome. All right, so let's wrap this one up. With that being said, uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.